Blockaholics across the country are taking it, well, they're taking a sigh of relief as the sixth season of The Block New Zealand started on three last night. You can get your home reno all there. But to tell us more about the challenge ahead and the contestants that will grace our screens for the next three months, please welcome to the cafe Mark Richardson and Shelley Ferguson. Yeah. 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 Nice. That was a good sprint from your AM studio to this one, Mark. Well done. Okay, so here we are, season six. You were there right at the start. Yeah. Now we're in season six. How have we up to the ante this season, what can you tell us? Uh, well, they're the biggest houses that they've ever had to do, right. so that's going to be a challenge mm. for them. So how big? What kind of size are we talking? I just need to get a picture. Well, don't About ask me for square. square meters. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know that sort of stuff. I don't know. I don't know that sort of stuff. They're big. They're, yeah. they're huge. And they're, it's going to be a real challenge, I think, each week to, to finish. Yeah. No, because we met the contestants last night, crazy bunch, aren't they? They <laughs> are, they're a mixed bunch. I, I, I would love to know what goes in behind the scenes to the processes of picking these people, because I think there's a whole lot of real characters there. And mm. you announced it, Mark, in quite a unique way too. Doctor, what was that, Dr Richard Markson? Yeah. They all came thinking they were yeah. doing a health check, and there's you going, surprise! <laughs> well, I think they fell for it. Do you like to role play? Yeah, yes, very much so, yeah. <laughs> Doctors and nurses, I was well rehearsed for the role, I can promise you that. They, they, you know, because it's such a exhaustive selection process and we do make them jump through hoops because yeah. you want people who are, are capable because you want them to finish the job but you yeah. don't want them to find it too easy mm. yeah. so you don't want them that capable you want them entertaining but you don't want them going in there and trying to act you want them to be themselves so you know casting is is massive so yeah. it's an exhaustive process so when they get told that they have to come for like a physical or something like that they believe it so <laughs> yeah. it's so easy to yeah. fool you, know? <laughs> you yeah. are evil um, okay so you know what I love about this show is it actually gives people hope that they can one day be homeowners, mm -hmm. which is great, good foot in the door. On that, how many people do you know Shelley applied? There were almost 5,000. Good grief. And I guess every season we've had, people have done well, people have walked away with money. Mm -hmm. And you know how hard it is currently to purchase a house, especially in Auckland, and also the Australian block, they see people walking away with a lot of a money. A lot of money, So yeah. there's a good incentive there, why not? Yeah, and there's just something about watching houses getting done up that's really compelling mm. viewing too, isn't it? This season too is interesting because there's more about urbanism, so they're joined houses, they're very big but they're joined. Right. All on one site, so it's three level living, there's a wow. rooftop, there's communal shared spaces, so I think that'll be really handy for people who are having to to renovate that way themselves. Yeah. Okay, well here's a question I want to ask you both. Mark, if you were a contestant and you applied and you got in, you were successful and you got to wear a nice yellow outfit, um, what would be the number I'd, one? I'd be in the purple team. You'd be in the purple team? That's the one that has the history of winning. Is it? Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good, well there you go, there's a tip. Mm. Um, what would be the one thing you'd want to get right? Is it about choosing the right house? Is it about making sure that you've got the right builder on board? What would be the one thing you'd want to get right? Yeah, I think it's about getting the right builder, getting the right tradespeople behind you because right. you, you've got all the challenges and things you have to do along mm. the way. So it's not like you're in there doing all the DIY and can knock up the houses. So you have to be a very organised project manager. Right. Mm. So it's about making sure that you've got the right people working for you and they are going to get right into the yeah. spirit of the block as well. Mm. Okay, it, we'd be bad at that. Yeah. <laughs> they also just found out they only get 100k to finish the whole house. So you've got to be winning some of those room reveals, yeah. right? Mm. So if you're all strength building wise and no strength design wise, yeah. those judges aren't going to You can't that. finish a house at Reno for 100k. I mean, is that possible? You can if you win challenges, clearly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you're fine if you come on the block, you'll be forced to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have no option. And now last night you did the first, you laid down the first challenges, which is going to, well, the first rooms, which is going to be kids' rooms for them all. Um, and they're all got different ages. Nate and Andy, they have kids themselves, don't they, from brothers and mm. all. Do you reckon that gives them a bit of a bit of a sort of heads up on designing a kids' room? Oh, I think you would have seen from that first challenge uh, and what they've done so far, they're very, very capable, those mm. two, when it comes mm. to hand-on building. Yeah. Uh, so it'll be the design they side of it. You know, they're, yes. they're a couple of blokes. They're a couple of husbands. Exactly. Can they actually do interior design? That'll be the test for them, I think, as they go along. Mm. No if issues with that with the girls. I, I think there's some real strength there. Uh, Ling and Zing, I have no idea what they're going to churn out, honestly. No, they said on the other we're just going to chuck some paint up and, uh, and move some stuff around. She'll be right. See, you know what? I reckon they're going to be the sleeping ones that, that actually do really well. Yes, yeah. and you don't overanalyze it. Maybe you come up with clearer, concise ideas. But anyway, I guess we we're going to see it all unfold. Thank you so much, yeah. um, guys, because we're yeah, both very you. busy. Um, look forward to the season. Awesome. I love it. You can watch the Block NZ every Sunday and Monday and Tuesday on 3, or it can catch. 
catch up on three now.